That's right. That is a future miniature camp trailer. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit spooked out about this whole thing. It's uh, kind of tall and kind of wobbly side to side, but luckily I don't have super far to go. So I'll just take it nice and slow and hopefully we'll make it. All right, I got it in. It's off the trailer and ready to tear into it. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is start stripping all the nasty old stuff like the mattress and stuff out of there because I'm gonna start from scratch. So I got all the floor, all that stuff out, all these wardrobes, everything, down to bare floor. The only thing I have left is that fire extinguisher holder over there in the corner, if you can see that. Uh, and then I gotta patch a hole there. And I'm, I'm pretty close to being ready to start on my layout. Well, as you can see, today I built a trailer and put it under the box, uh, sleeper box. So now I just need to mess with the interior, uh, get everything in place, cabinets, bed, all that. Then I can uh, finalize my axle location to get really a uh, decent tongue weight. After uh, welding in these braces for this giant hole that I have to plug, I kind of forgot <clears throat> to keep uh, filming. So, what you missed is I now have a floor. I have the bed in place, and right now I'm hanging uh, the bunk bed. So I gotta drill some holes, uh, bolt the hinges to that cross brace, and then build some cables uh, that will hang the bed. I don't know if you can tell, but both beds are in. Top bed, bottom bed, fold out futon, sofa bed, whatever you want to call it. I managed to get the hole plugged and insulated like I showed you so I sheeted it today and got my cabinet rough installed and my bed rough installed of course this flips up for extra space for the futon and that bar up there is where the other bed hangs I got this side sheeted as well just need to put some trim around the floor and that back wall and then sheet the ceiling. This bad boy right here is a roof panel, uh, ceiling panel, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, I already made one and I'm gonna be putting this one in. So what this is, is really thin veneered plywood that I had and it's got felt, like standard uh, felt you might use for speaker boxes or something, glued onto the plywood and then all the joints are reinforced with uh, Gorilla tape, duct tape, packing tape, all that. Okay, if this board fits, theoretically, this will become the countertop. It does fit, that's a good sign. I'm gonna use all local, near here, near my home, as far as the maps go. Stuff uh, that most people that aren't from this area wouldn't really even know exist. So it should be kind of cool, kind of unique. I'm gonna give it a try. Mod Podge, I got the real stuff. I didn't make my own. It's a 64 ounce container. It's the bigger one that our craft store had. Cost me 20 bucks. This is a five by eight trailer and I'm doing three walls. So uh, I need this whole thing to do three walls. I think I could probably get the fourth wall since it's just a partial. If I wanted to, I'm gonna leave that wood, but just in case you're curious, uh, the big jug necessary. Okay, I'm working a little bit on the uh, electrical system. 
This is a panel I just made for uh, some marine plugins. These are 12 volt. That one's just for a cigarette lighter. That one's got some USB, and then in the middle it should give me a voltage reading. And then I have an on-off switch, so I can turn that on and off. Uh, charging phones, tablets, whatever else. Um, maybe even run some different sort of accessories off of that. So I made this aluminum uh, just so that I could have a little bit more uh, wiggle room or play in the cabinet part because uh, it's a little difficult to cut those holes once everything's installed. The sun is out, which means Miss Gracie wants to be in the shop laying in the sun. Well, it's been a good month. Um, let me give you a quick tour of the camper as it sits right now. Mostly it's what I worked on in January, sort of get a break from all the work stuff. So got the lights all working, which you've seen already. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, behind me, light switch, inside, outside. All my walls are finished. I have these trim pieces that run all the way around. Behind me, I have the shelf up top. Uh, you can see if I go up high. It's just for, uh, you know, more storage. You can put dishes up there, you can put clothes up there, whatever you want. Cabinet is basically done, countertop is put down, um, window is in, it opens with this right here. One of the last things I'm going to be doing is putting a table across here, uh, but it's not quite ready, so I'll save that for February. Okay, exciting news. I am about to go drive the camper for the first time. By drive, I mean tow. We're gonna see if the tongue weight is right, because if it is, that means I get to complete the welding of the axle and fenders. Let's go see how it does. Okay, I'm towing. It's back there. Uh, honestly, it's towing pretty decent. I would say uh, it's probably just a little bouncier than I would like. I mean, it's not bad on the straights, but when you're cruising down the driveway or any potholes or things like that, it just bounces a little more than I'd like. So, I think I'm gonna move the axle maybe two, three inches, and that should give me just enough more tongue weight to make it ride just a little bit nicer. mini camper behind me and today is paint prep work so some last minute welding and cleaning up of the frame pull the box off roll it outside it's like supposed to be 50 degrees today a little cold for painting but I'm gonna primer epoxy it and then maybe throw on some enamel so I think it's gonna be okay All right, I'm finishing up the last little bit of wiring on this trailer <clears throat> for the tail lights and the marker lights. So some more soldering, a little heat shrink tubing, and then I'll be able to hook up the connector for the truck. So then it's ready to tow. Okay, quick camper update. I'm working on racks for kayaks. My goal is to run kayaks along the side of the camper. These are what's gonna hold the rack system itself. They kinda of look like ladders because there's a possibility that in the future I'll build a roof rack and then you would really wanna have a ladder to be able to get up there. So I thought I'd make them from, this, from that, that way from the beginning. So anyways, I got two of them started. I got some welding to finish up and then I'm gonna see how that kayak would fit on there. I don't know if you can call it the maiden voyage of the camper because I already took it for a tow, but I'm going to spend the night in it tonight. I'm going to go visit my buddy Mike and try out the camper. So I've got a few additions that I'm going to show you that I've been working on um, once I get up there.
Well, my first night in the camper went pretty well. Um, important thing next time, remember the screen because there were bugs and it was hot. Also, I think I might make like a magnetic or some sort of screen to cover this door so that I can leave that open if it's super hot because last night was super hot. Possibly, possibly, I would even paint the roof a different color so during the day uh, it didn't absorb so much heat. One thing that I really like is using this upper bed as storage. So I can be sitting down here with this bed opened up. This isn't in my way and I can put all my stuff laid out up here so that it doesn't take up floor space and all that. So that was a super cool uh, addition that I didn't really realize was gonna work as well as it did. It's time to paint the camper. I'm gonna show you how I stencil trees and ultimately Bigfoot on my camper. Step one is print this bad boy. Step two, projector. Step three, trace the outline. And now I'm gonna spend hours and hours masking my graphics. I've got most of the camper masked and ready to spray. The only thing I really have left is this window. Pull these tires off, mask over the wheel wells, and it's pretty much ready to spray. I got everything painted. Turned out okay. Uh, spraying new paint is always a challenge because you're not used to it different characteristics or whatever. This is new to me. So I did end up with a little bit of a run right in here next to Sasquatch, but I think it's fixable. Um, the black stayed nice uh, under the, the masking, so soon when this stuff starts to tack up, I'll, I'll start pulling some masking tape, see how it looks. Well, I'm getting ready to head out and do some camping in the camper. I've made a few changes since the last time I used it, including I have the screen. So, hopefully it all goes as planned. And uh, I'm also bringing the kayak to do a little fishing. So, we'll see how the paint holds up too. We made it, I'm set up. I used some logs and pulled the camper wheel up on top of them so that I could make it level. Check out this view, pretty awesome. It's pretty nice out here. You can see McLaughlin right there. This camper, the Sasquatch camper, might be going to Idaho. Supposedly somebody's coming all the way from Boise uh, to take this bad boy home with them. So hopefully they show up. If not, I'm not too worried because I was really hoping to use it this weekend for a motorcycle trip. So. I wanted to hook it up to the RAV because I'm pretty sure even the RAV will tow this bad boy. It seems like a long drive to come all the way from Boise for this thing, but honestly, I guess it's kind of unique, so it's not like there's one somewhere else. And it has a Sasquatch on it, come on, why not?